Here's a capacitive stylus tip that you can make easily in a few minutes. The materials you need to make this stylus tip are common and you probably have them just lying around the house. You need some kind of handle, like an old pen, like this. This one doesn't even have a cap. Um, tape, any kind of tape. And this stuff is called foil paper and it's used on a lot of different things. I got this foil paper off of a pack of Trident gum. You might even be able to see it right there, it says Trident. And they have the little packets in there. You can also find it on gum sticks, but if you get it on a gum stick, it will have powder on it. So you want clean foil paper. You want to flatten it out like this. And that's what the stylus tip is going to be made out of. You can also find the foil pa paper on... Uh, they use it to wrap cheeseburgers, burritos, all kinds of things. Candy cigarettes. Now the reason you need foil paper is because your smartphone screen responds to changes in capacitance and capacitance is caused when you have two different layers of a conductive material like a metal foil on this side and a non-conductive dielectric material like paper on this side. Now after you get your foil paper, you want to make sure that the paper side is relatively clean because that's the side that will be rubbing on the screen. The paper foil should be square on the end so you want to cut off any weird goofy stuff. That like that. And this part will probably be okay here on the end. Alright, so you take your rod or your handle and you put it on one end that's flat of your foil with the paper side down and then you just roll it up really tightly like that and you want to take your tape and tape one end of it Not actually to the rod, just you want it to be able to slip it off, just like that. You want to put the handle about halfway or a third of the way into your tube. And then you want to flatten this end like this. So you flatten this end like that. And then you kind of fold it so you got this flat piece like this at the end. This part is in, the handle goes up to this part and then this part is empty and it's flattened. Then you take this flat end and you roll it up Like this. So it looks like a swirl on the end. Just like that. And then at this point you could test it if you want. If you try your stylus tip and it doesn't work very well, what you can try to do is pull the pen out, pull, push the pen in some more, and then make the roll a little smaller like this. Because if it's too big, it might not work very well, and if the roll right here on the end is too small, it might not work very well. Then you just test it out. Oops. There we go. And it's working now. It works better after you tape it. And that's the last step. You just take one last piece of tape and you tape the bottom of the roll. This is the part that touches the screen. And then you just tape around the bottom. 
right there so that it doesn't come unrolled. Okay, when it's done, it should look about like this. It won't work if you roll this end up too tight. So if it's not working, try unrolling this and having it so it there's some space in the roll so that it can kind of has some springy action like your fingertip. Uh, that's it. Um, you can use it for a while and then just throw it away when it gets dirty. It's useful to keep around just in case your fingers are dirty or um, it's cold out and you have gloves, things like that.